everybody. There. Welcome back to HNTV. Today is Friday, February 15th, and it is raining, so be careful when you're going outside. This week, we will be informing you on past, current, and upcoming events, like Valentine's Day, Chinese New Year, the Talent Show, and President's Day. Stay tuned for more information. Now to Zamir and Daniela for the history of Valentine's Day. Thanks, guys. Hey, Daniela, did you know that Valentine's Day was originally named after St. Valentine? Wow, that's cool. Did you know that St. Valentine was put into jail for marrying Catholic couples by the emperor? That's true. He eventually fell in love with Emperor Claudius' daughter, and the day before he was sentenced to death, he signed a letter signed, St. From Your Valentine. Wow, that's so amazing. And since then, Valentine's Day became popular, the first one going as far back as the year 496. Now to Delaney and Nina for Valentine's Day party back. Hey Nina, did you know that every year more than 36 million heart-shaped boxes of candy are sold across the country? Wait, really? Also, did you know that on St. Valentine's feast day, he was actually beheaded for helping wed a Christian couple? Wow. Also, about 50 million roses are given on Valentine's Day around the world. That's a lot of roses. And now to Dean and Caitlin for President's Thanks, Delaney and Nina. Hey, Caitlin, did you know that President's Day became a federal holiday in 1879? Wow, Dean, I did not. It was established in 1885 in honor of President George Washington's birthday. Isn't that cool? It really is. President's Day is celebrated on the third Monday in February, thanks to the 1968 Uniform Monday Holiday Act. That's fascinating. Washington's birthday was actually on February 22nd, 1732. Interesting. While the holiday has come to be known as President's Day, it is in fact only dedicated to one president, George Washington. That's cool. Now to Raven and Jalen. Thanks, Caitlin and Dean. To everyone who's performing in a talent show, good job and good luck to you. It takes hard work to come up with a performance and perform it in front of the entire school. Great job and thank you for sharing your talent with the rest of us. This week's SLE is being resourceful and thinking critically. You can always think outside of the box and ask questions. Now to Jesslyn for facts on Chinese New Year. Thanks Raven and Jalen. Chinese New Year was on February 5th of last week and it is now the year of the pig. Some common traditions are red and beloved firecrackers and dragon dancing. The Chinese also like to celebrate by eating mandarin oranges for good luck and by cleaning up their houses before the holiday. Happy Chinese New Year everybody and go pay bok choy. Now on to Grayson, Lydia, and Anthony with sports. Thanks, Jesslyn and Ashley. Now on to sports. The Warriors are looking good so far this season, maintaining their position of first place in the Western Conference. On Tuesday, they beat the Utah Jazz 115-108, led by prolific scoring from Kevin Durant with 28 points, Steph Curry with 24, and Clay Thompson with 22. Unfortunately, the Warriors lost on Wednesday to the Portland Trailblazers 129-107, because of a bunch of missed calls by the referees late in the game. Also, the All-Star break for the NBA is coming up this weekend, so make sure you don't miss those fun events, such as the three-point contest and the dunk contest. And for the All-Star game, Team LeBron is against Team Giannis, and I think Team LeBron is going to win. Finally, the Giants baseball season is coming soon, with the pitchers and catchers starting spring training on Wednesday. Girls basketball is just getting started. And I can't wait to see all our great Holy Name teams. Games haven't started yet, but the girls are already hard at work on their first practicing for their first game. In other news, the California Golden Bears women's college basketball team has won 14 out of 23 of their games. Boys basketball is just ending, but all the sixth grade teams made the playoffs. And the fifth grade team also made it. And again, congratulations to the sixth grade C team for making it into the championships. And finally, baseball season is starting soon, as well as book boys volleyball. So good luck to all those teams throughout their seasons. Now it's Anna and Lauren for birthdays. Oh. Here, Here are the upcoming, upcoming birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday on Sunday to Kelly in third grade. And happy birthday on Monday to Raven Shaw in eighth grade. And, and a very merry unbirthday to the rest of us. No, now to William for William's Tech Tips. Yeah. What's up? This is Tech Tips. <laughs> Did you know if you turn on airplane mode, your iPad or your iPhone will charge faster? Yeah, so cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching HNTV. We'll see you next time, Panthers. Well, my name is Fuck Scon, and I'm here to say I'm about to the Scon in a major way. You jump to the right and you shake that hand. Jump to the left and you shake that hand. You meet new friends. 
Tie that yarn, that's how you do the scarn. You jump to the right and you shake that hand. You jump to the left and you shake that hand. You meet new friends, you tie that yarn, that's how you do the scarn. You jump to the right and you shake that hand. You jump to the left and you shake that hand. You meet new friends, you tie that yarn, that's how you do the scarn. Boom! May all your news be good news! I still like this. Let's go. Me too. High five. Okay. Like, okay. Ah! Sure. Job All right. Good job, guys. We did it.